Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Chris Diggin. So, if you're new to this channel, we'll summarize this real quick. So, for other channels, they might put video or put subtitles or put sound, but I've tried that in the past multiple times. I always get a strike and then have to wait 90 days to get rid of the strike. Um, I almost got terminated a few times in the past from trying that. So for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing this way. So if you don't like the way I do it, just go to a different channel. Don't dislike this video because that's why I see a lot of people will be like, I'll just delete your channel. Oh, you're doing it this way, delete your channel and dislike the video and leave. Uh, this is how we've been doing it for the last two years. Uh, so the way we do it is up in the corner here is a timer. Uh, I will put three seconds on the timer if the video is 15 minutes or longer, about 10, 15 minutes or longer. If the video is uh, less uh, minutes than that, I put two seconds on the timer. But basically, I will start my video at zero seconds. I will do a three second countdown. When my video hits, so like three, two, one, and then when my video hits three seconds, I hit continue. And about that's my timer will be linked up with the same amount of seconds as the video. So if you want to watch with me, just put the timer through. Put your video to three seconds when i get to zero just hit play and you're good to go you're watching the video about the same time i am uh like i said if you guys don't like this go to a different channel this will be at the start of every anime television a tv show or movie episode reaction and review i do the full time so if you want to watch it fully with me that's how we do it also uh if you want if you've seen this intro before you can skip past it because down below here it's going to be split up from intro to where we start the video i usually give it about five ten seconds before we start the video and then after the video i do the review i usually section it off on that or if we do four if uh, we do more than two episodes or three episodes we'll be sectioned off with each episode reaction um and then at the end we do the review for all of them Otherwise, that's how we do it here. Like I said, if you don't like it, just go off. Go to a different channel. But this is how we're probably going to do this for the foreseeable future. Otherwise, thank you for sticking uh, to the whole thing if you're new to this channel. Otherwise, uh, let's jump into it, whatever this video might be. And hopefully you guys do enjoy. Hello, YouTube. This is the of the Crazy Deacon. <coughs> so, <laughs> the last one we did of this fixing my shorts also need to plug in my phone before we get into this so the last one we did of this i said um at the beginning of that one that i'll probably make an intro for every future one we do of this um and i decided against it because i think if i think if we are doing this I'm gonna do it personalized every time so you guys just see me for who I am so if you didn't know what this is I'll explain it real quick I'll do this at the beginning of every part also helps me get a little more time to get my phone charger out I don't have work tonight I'm feeling down want to do some full metal alchemist so full metal alchemist brotherhood is my number one anime of all time it's been that way for years but like I said in previous parts I have not seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood in 10 years I haven't seen the full short show so what I do here is we're re-watching through the only moments I allow myself to see is moments we have already reacted to or re-react like re-reviewed re-reacted to whatever you want to call this that's the only moments I, I'm allowed to see again, or um, or intros. That is the only other thing I'll allow myself. So what th this whole thing is for is I want to see if Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, after all these years, still stands up. Is it still what I would consider number one anime of all time? Has it has it sunk down? Who knows. Uh, I will probably get emotional when we get... I was fucking emotional last time because fucking May Hughes. Because, of course, I would say, let's do one more episode and it would be May Hughes' death. 
um, of course that would be the episode. We're doing either three or four episodes. Right now, I don't remember where we left off, so I have to pop it up because I was going to do that while getting everything ready. But yeah, um, I basically pick this up anytime I'm feeling absolute, like, absolute shit. My emotions are fucking all haywire. And we pick three to four episodes up. So it's been a while again. If I look up Brotherhood. Uh, last part was in August. So it's been a few months again. The part before that was December. So you can kind of see where the jump is. And the part before that was Ju uh, July. It's like almost every six months. But when I don't. It takes a while for me to feel down. It It's not like... Well, I can't say that. I feel down a lot, but I usually go to, like, beautiful camera. I go to other stuff that I have to record. Um, but I thought we might as well record a part of this. We're picking up at least three to four episodes. We watched episode 10 last time. So we're watching episode 11. The other thing... The other thing I will say with Full Metal Alchemist is... Um, With Full Metal Alchemist is I watch the original Full Metal Alchemist. I watch that. I watch that um, after Brotherhood, so I still remember Alchemist. So any moment, I'm, there's gonna be a lot of talking about moments and stuff. So if you're looking for more of me talking a lot about the episodes, it's gonna be stuff like this. But also. The other thing I should mention, I mentioned this in every other part. There's moment, there's moments in Brotherhood I just don't remember. Um, there's giant moments I just don't remember, and it might be because it's been ten years, or it might be because of the mem, the I lost a lot of memories a while. Well, after I went through all my hospital visits and stuff, I lost years of memory. Um, there's like giant gaps in my memory now. I used to have really, really good memory, but I don't have it for certain years. So, um, yeah. Uh, sorry if this was a little longer than normal, but it won't. Like I said, it'll be different every single time. So, Okay. Okay. Uh, apparently Netflix no longer has Brotherhood. So I need to go to my other site I go to. When I'm watching Demon Slayer and other things. We're picking up uh, episode 11. Through 13 or level 11 through 14. I don't know. But we're picking up episode 11. I'm going to put the timer up. Um... I'm going to put three seconds on the timer. Uh, otherwise, um, I need to let this load for a second because I need at least 30 seconds on the timer. Or 30 seconds loaded because otherwise it will catch up with the video. I've always seen it do that. As long as I have 30 seconds, it also depends on my internet at the time. This one, I absolutely know I have to reload page. I kind of screwed up with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me close down this. This might help. This might help my hair in that. I had something else loaded already because I was going to do bleach before this, but I thought I might as well do this uh, because, like I said, I feel like absolute shit. Um, and I have horror games and stuff to record tonight and other things that need to come out, so... Um, I need to get this done. I wanted to do something, and this was something I wanted to do more than anything. Come on, please, just load. There we go. It's loaded now. I don't know why it wasn't loaded before. Three seconds on the timer. We're jumping to episode 11. I'm watching Dubbed, if you didn't guess. Dub was the original way I watched it. Dub is probably the only reason I got into anime in the first place. If it wasn't for Dubbed, I don't think I would have gotten into anime.
And that's just me being just real with you guys. Otherwise, in three, two, one. We are going through. I'm talking about alchemy and how it works. I do have English covers of these these intros. There's a few people that do it. Nate's want, Nate wants to battle. I have a few songs from him, but I think it's all Full Metal. Uh, just, well, actually, I think I only have one song from him, and it's a Full Metal Alchemist intro done in uh, English. I think there's five intros. I just can't figure where they swap. Oh, I know where we are. If Maze Hughes just dies, we're getting very close to my favorite... One of my favorite characters in the entire show. The other... One of them is... Armstrong. That I keep next to my thing. I have uh, Alphonse up there. I got Roy Mustang, Winry... I think I got Lust now too. I think I kept her in the bo uh, her box though. Yeah. I also have uh, Alphonse with all the cats. I still need to get um. Uh. Hawkeye. Visa Hawkeye, and also I probably want to get um, the Fuhrer. <laughs> Bad day for rain. I always forget that he's stationed in the east. It's not central. I love episodes like this in any series I watch just because it built it's so much world building. And like I said in the uh in my last one, I know the creator of this is working on a new manga and I would love to get my hands on it once it starts coming out. Like, this is considered one of the greatest animes of all time, and for good reason. The pocket one. Oh my god! I just I just got this. Where the fuck did I just put that? I just bought a full metal alchemist thing on I just bought I just bought a really fucking cool thing. It was sixty dollars. And it it was my most expensive thing I bought in Florida. But, it's probably one of my favorite things I bought, and it's a Full Metal Alchemist thing.
It is absolutely her. This path only has one... Where the hell did I put that? I am finding that between episodes. Actually, I might have just found it. It would make sense that I put it here. Nope, that is where I put the other one. That's where I put my back backup hard drive. Where the oh, It's been in front of me. It's alchemy. I got this. I'll show off the whole thing between the episodes. Between this and the next episode. It's actual metal. I love it. There's other stuff in here. I fucking love it. Oh, I, I love this thing so much. I like this was right in front of me too. And I just didn't see the box because I just... His growth is very stunted. How many times does he think, uh, dream about him being taller? It's a handful of times. It's not a lot. She, he doesn't take apprentices. <laughs> I still have coughs and it's they're gonna kill me. <coughs> it's this episode or next episode, right? That has to do with the watch. I like this actually opens. It'd be great if this was actually welded shut. The the uh the mother's death date I can never remember off the top of my head. I know there's fans that actually remember the date all the time. I do give the old man credit for picking her up off the street after seeing that 
she had no will of living. There's some an other anime that did the same thing. There was plastic on the back. I could feel it. Prosthetics have come a long way since I first watched this. Not to this level of craftsmanship. I don't know if we'll ever get to the point where we can attach nerves to mechanical parts. Maybe we'll eventually get to that point. I love Winry because she got so straight to the point here and did so well. Like, she said the idea in her mind and said it so straightforward. Like, there's no... Yeah, the 11 always screws me up because it's year 11. It's not actual date. That's the... I look at that and I, it screws with me. I could probably remember October 3rd, but not year 11. It's, there's no way I'll ever remember that. <laughs> Dominic. So, I will say this right now. I don't know if I said this in previous parts. I don't know if I said this before, but um, there was a theory that went along when this first came out and I watched it. Is that every time <laughs> That's fucking incredible to see all four of them in shock faces. What the fuck is this soundtrack?
Yeah. Edward makes a solid point. With the doctor nowhere's in sight and the baby coming, it, you would have to. What is this song? I know it plays so much in the series, but I've never actually... I don't know this song by its title. It's such a good song, too. Edward can at least cover his ears. Alphonse cannot do that. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't think alchemy will ever get to the point where you can create a new life. Other than that, natural, natural means. I'm guessing that has to be all out of energy, right? Or tired within those subtitles. She fucking dropped her. Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity will kill me one day. My curiosity intrigues me more than anything else. But there, the signs are in place like... Beware of electrocution from fences and stuff. That's in place for from people like me. That curiosity just are, got the better of us. I'm fine with that. I'll probably have an earlier deathbed than most of my friends, and that's not even without my curiosity. That's just from me going to the hospital and all the problems I've been having. But I'm fine with that. As long as I'm, I'm trying to go for my dream, and I am going for it right now, I'm fine. If it's a few months, if it's a few years, if it's I actually live to my full lifetime. I'm perfectly fine with it. As long as I didn't stop going for my dream. Sorry, I'm talking about death again. I do it pretty often. If you... If you let yourself not cry for so long, it fucking affects you really bad mentally. I can't... I can't even explain that. Trying not be emotional for years fucking destroyed me. Now I'd rather just let be in the open. 
Love this show. More than likely, this is not moving from top one in my top ten anime of all time. Or it moves to number two. His package. Okay. I do like him staying to his word that he doesn't pick. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh. That was, what? That was Greed, Scar, and, uh, what the fuck is his name? I can never remember his name. He's the guy who faked the gold, uh, the, got tricked in the mine for the coal that was turned to gold. Wait. Wait. Is it next time that we run into Ling? I absolutely thought Ling was this time around. Wait, when does that happen? Ling is probably one of my favorite characters in the entire show. I thought Ling was this time. I didn't think there was... They, they come back? What the fuck do they come back for? When do they come back? Oh, I have no fucking clue. I have no clue when they come back to... I have no idea. I thought Ling was this because I couldn't imagine any other time they come back here. I thought they only came here once. Which, that makes me very curious. What the f Where? When? Like this, I, I have no clue. I have no clue. Ling is my favorite character. I can't think. I absolutely can't think. I thought all of the... All of the town there was going to be two episodes. And we get Ling the next episode. But they're already back on the travel. Which means we're getting Teacher here, right? That's what we're getting to. We're getting to Teacher and Greed would be my guess. <sighs> yeah, I... That that fucking startles me. I I don't know. I I absolutely don't know when they come back. Maybe they come back after going to teacher, or do they pass through it when they go to the north? No, that that can't be right. When they go to the north. It's so late into the show. There's no way that they go to the north. At, uh, be like, Wing has to be part of the show for a little while before they head to the north. There's no way he's not. When when is that? Here's the stuff I can remember. Ling somehow they go back there at some point now, and they meet Ling. I know eventually they go out and see the ruins of Zebek. Not Zevik. What is that? Oh, I can't think of it. the 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 ruined city, um, where the the first Philopsis Stone was created, or one of the first ones of the series we know of, um, where that was created. 
Um, then we have them in the north at uh, the great the giant wall of Brig. Um, them escaping the whole mine stuff. Them battling with pride, and then the capital stuff. I don't know anything else in between, and there's parts I'm missing. I think they fight Pride, but where do they fight Gluttony? If each Seven Deadly Sins have to be dead by the end of the series, where do they fight Gluttony? Also, where do they fight, um, Lust? I can't, I can't remember, I, I have no idea. It's not in there. I don't know where they fight gluttony. I don't know when that goes on. I don't know where they fight lust. Envy I can think of. I can think of. I think I know where they fight wrath. Sloth I have no idea. There's at least three of the seven identity sins. I can't think of where they fight. And I don't know how they, how they end up dying. They have to die right? Do any of the seven deadly sins survive the end of the series? I'm very curious now. I I don't know. Oh yeah, um let me put this down and I'll I'm gonna show off this. So, for anybody watching now, this is the thing I got in Florida. It is probably one of the most expensive things I bought down there. Buy a single item. There's collections of stuff that were, definitely was more pricey. But this was a single item collection item from a anime store. It's the Full Metal Alchemist. It's a gold and black tin tray. It is probably my favorite thing for Full Metal Alchemist. We get the watch. With a clip on. It can open... has Full Metal Alchemist engraved. It also has the Mother's Death engraved into it. It's really well made. Then you have a uh, alchemy ring. Oh yeah, I'm not pointing on... The only one that will fit is my, my pinky. Any other ones it gets stuck on. I believe it says Full Metal Alchemist on the sides. And then it has the alchemy symbol. The last metal piece is this. The necklace, which might fit me. I'm not trying that on right now. Uh, but yeah, that this is what I got. And like I said, this is probably one of my favorite uh, things I've ever bought for the show. And I was apps. I was in the store, and it was either between me buying this, or me buying uh, a Nosuke from Demon Slayer, laying down. Like both of them looked really great, and I decided for my, for my Alchemist because this was so well made. And I was like, I don't know if I'll ever see something like this made again in this high quality. Otherwise, let's pull back up the timer. I'm very curious with the three uh, sins. They fight the sins. I'm more than certain we have a fight with all the sins, but I can't. I don't know where those three happen. And there's definitely moments I'm forgetting about. Uh, otherwise, we're jumping into episode 12 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I need to put three seconds on the timer before I forget. Otherwise, in three. Two, one. Huh. It didn't start with him talking about alchemy. I'm guessing that only happens every so often then.
18. Not bad. I take my uh well I'm almost through this bit the pill bottle I can't even think about that I the, each bottle contains 500 pills I'm down to maybe a handful but I have to take 800 milligrams every so often when my back pain and stuff start Are we getting the full them full the full training flashback, or is that only in uh, in the original show? I can't remember his name. <laughs> but Izumi could still fuck you up. <laughs> uh. Oh, the eye flicker in that Alphonse had. The flickering of eyes that Alphon had there in all that uh, horror and surprise was great. Is it? It's a long... Is this the first time we get mentioned Hohenheim since... I don't know. Actually, is this the actual first time we get Hohenheim? Or is this... They say it earlier. Your mother would have died anyways if she got sick. I can't remember why the father leaves. Why did Hohenheim leave them? I, there has to be a reason. There has to be a decent reason why he left them. I just can't remember why. I'm getting goosebumps because there's so much I I don't remember. Or have forgotten or lost.
I can. I have a dream catcher in my room because I had nightmares all the time. The dream catcher has helped. At least I would believe it has because I've had less nightmares. But maybe it's a different thing. But I like to believe the dream catcher is the reason why. But also I get like no dreams at all too, so... The other thing about it <laughs> I'm trying to think I just I lost it uh, back in uh, high school and middle school I I bought that in college because I started having nightmares somewhere in high school and it consisted through well I started having what are they called where you wake up but you're not fully awake Sleep paralysis demons. I started having those in high school. Those went away eventually. But then I started having nightmares of watching family members or friends die. Over and over in more and more twisted ways. And it does something to you. It, you I can't imagine. I took it just because I was, it was easy to hide emotions and not talk about it. So I bought the Dreamcatcher... To try help and it did help. I don't know if that was just my mental state saying that it would help or not. I do like Azumi being the badass she is. <laughs> You're not getting rid of them that easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is very kind hearted. Um she might act tough on the outside, but she is fucking incredible. This is not the same as it, but it reminds me so much of Luffy and Garp.
Yeah, but... I think I would absolutely have to close my eyes if I ever did that, because I don't think I could take the life of even an animal like that. I don't think I could. If I was trapped on an island like that, I don't know how long I survive, actually. I do have some instincts of what to do, but I don't know how long I actually last. This, I remember this very, the backstory I do remember. The thing is, I remember this. The, uh. The, uh, them surviving here and on getting starvation set in, in doesn't remind me as much, but reminds me almost at, like Sanji when he was a child with uh, Zeph. How do you do that solo? There is definitely a way you do that solo, but I can't even begin to think how you do that solo. <coughs> I know you can do it with foot and steel. But. <laughs> also noticing from the side angle I can tell how the animation style the what the animation style is but that's I think that's only because I've been starting to pick up older animes older than this Holy shit, is this the mentality of how the show ends, right? Or really close to the ending. Something big happens. Is this what... It's the idea of one is... All and all it was one? Holy shit, that actually might be a thing.
I'm gonna mute myself for a second. My Amazon has a notification. I have no fucking clue what she just said. I got an idea what it is. I will say right now, I get what this means, that she went through the gate, but without them saying that, like, out loud, I don't think my old stupid self would ever figure that one out. <laughs> Wait. Eventually, they dig up the the resurrection of them and find out it's not them. When does that happen? That's after they meet Hohenheim, right? But when does Hohenheim pop up in the series again? That has to be late game, right? Late anime? Like 50 episodes in? 40 episodes in? There's no way he pops up early. For some reason, I figured this was nearby too. Oh, my memory. My memory is shot with this. I like the taboos in place, but absolutely Alchemist would fall into the deep hole and try to bring someone back. <laughs> yeah, they want to play. They want to put on put on a smile to get by. So easy to put on a smile or just put on a face that you say you're just okay with it. When you're not okay. It's so easy to do. If I ever find someone that actually can tell that apart from me, I'm fucking marrying her.
Yeah, they, that's a month. I absolutely thought that was not a month in the background. I, last time it, they showed the tree, I absolutely counted that wrong. But that's actually 30 days, that's a month. Which means they are just beyond... A month that has 30 days. I don't know what months those are. I couldn't even tell you which months have 31 days. How I did not I probably haven't done it yet. I haven't given ratings for these. For episode 11, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. For episode 12, I'm going to give a I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. We're doing one more episode. I can't do any more than this because I absolutely have other stuff to record. I also have to render one or two things. Uh, that have to come out the day I'm recording this. Um, and those need to come out today. So we're doing one more episode. We'll pick up episode 13. Episode 13 will be the last episode we pick up today. Also, it might be fine that we pick it up. Because I'm hoping this is where Greed shows up. The personality of greed. Not the old greed that we're going to meet. The newer greed when we hit them. Is one of my favorite characters. <sighs> Why am I sad in such a way? I Emotions. Emotions are weird with me today. Uh, episode 13 in 3, 2, 1. I'm still curious why he left. There has to be a reason why he left them. And my brain can't... There's things missing from it. I don't know why he left. He was like uh, Jin. 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 And Hunter x Hunter. Or uh, Shanks. The red exclamation points that pop up, I really love it because it's like an old, like, Metal Gear Solid type reference. It has to be. It might not even be Metal Gear Solid. I just know one of the older games has that for when the people actually notice you. Hehehehe <laughs> <laughs> the boldness is so good here.
I wonder if there, if you did see the full truth, the entire truth, if it would make any difference from people who just saw parts of the truth. <laughs> Uh, I wonder because I'm guessing at a certain point I don't know if you could remember it all <laughs> I do love this old man. He is a great... Do how the how do the ranking works in this show? Did we ever get like did we ever get like the ranks, like the highest to the lowest? Like we do in One Piece? Or is it just based off like actual navy or whatever? How many, I, him, who the fuck is he? I can't think of his name. How many people does he date through the series? Yeah, you have to, you have to forgive and forget. Yoki. He is He's not The art of dismantling is such a great ability to only have the ability to dismantle. I will give him the guy who just died there. I will give him credit for being that bold and that brash. Just seeing the guy's arm dismantle to then have his his head grabbed like that and still say say those words. Like, it's such a... Like, it, he died, but that was a fucking badass way to die. Like, I I get that he died, but it's so... it's That's so fucking cool. I, I give him all the credit with that one. He knew he was going to die, so he went out like like he wanted to at that point. I 
I do like the gang here. <laughs> what does he do here? Does he fucking hit this guy? <laughs> no, he kicks him. Fucking incredible. Holy shit! You... Oh... I will say <laughs> I will say Oh my brain just went to sexy The fucking snake lady would be fucking That fucking Her flexibility has to be fucking incredible I'm sorry I My brain went there My brain saw her do that And just slide into the armor And I was like holy shit The mil the military is fucking incredible in this show. But also a fucking asshole. But he's... Military is usually assholes in the end game. There are good soldiers, but... There's always corruption wherever you go. I love the animation of when they re uh, reform. Actually, who did tell him that? Who the fuck would have told him that? There's he's he can't be linked to the f uh, father in them. There's no way. So who did tell him of them? Or is there a reference to brotherhood with one of the side stories? Ah. 
how old is uh how old is Central in that? <laughs> I do like Oris Boris tattoo is one of the tattoos I'm considering. But I'm also considering the cross and serpent. I'm it's up in the air between those two. Or maybe if I got a good gauntlet tattoo from just Armstrong. There have been tattoo ideas from this that I have passed around. I still haven't... I don't have one that I have stuck to, but... I do want to get one from Brotherhood. <laughs> oh. oh, I love this so much. Oh, he's so loud, but it makes absolute sense because this rage is contained to memories, and the memories is the is the background the same thing they use for the souls later on for alchemy for the pumunculuses We don't get the full fight this episode, do we? There's no way we have five minutes, or is the the fight only five minutes? If if they redid Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood again, but with current anime like work, I can't imagine how fucking amazing it would be. That down the that statement right there is the downfall. I'm somewhere in that same boat. I don't care if I die, as long as I protect my family. Or and friends. My friends are still in the same boat. To become a friend of mine, it takes a lot more than just what other people would consider. Literally is something more... <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> we get this next time, right? <sighs> Wait. Do we meet, meet do when they head back from here, do they run in to get repairs? And that's when we run into Ling? Shock full of piss and vinegar is a great quote. Oh. <laughs> oh. You want to try that again? I love when you have a fucking incredible intel intelligent alchemist figure out the enemy's weakness, no matter how they are. <laughs> oh, fucking incredible. Everyone underestimates the fucking flea. She has backup. Fucking incredible. Just a housewife. Where is her Funko? I would buy her Funko so quick. I'm giving episode 13 a 9.5 out of 10. That was really fucking incredible. You're, damn, you're full of piss and vinegar. I don't know if that's used as like he's incredibly like I don't know where you even use that in the first place. If you, you would you use that, To say people are full of piss and vinegar is to say that they are brimming with energy. Although many speakers assume the phrase may must have a negative cognition, this expression is more often used to compliment uh, vigor, a uh, vin vinegar, being as an old slang term for enthusiastic energy. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh my god, I could use piss and vinegar a lot now. Knowing that, I am not full of piss and vinegar right now. I am fucking solo on energy. 
But I think that might be because I, I fell asleep for an hour and then woke up with uh, racing heart and chest pain. Uh, it happens a lot I, I, from all the medical visits. Uh, every so often I might sleep an hour or two and then I wake up with uh, somewhere around 180. My heartbeat per, uh, per minute, 180, somewhere around there. And just killer chest pain. But I know it's not anything too weird because I've gone through it so many times. So I just give it like 5-10 minutes and it's back to normal. But um, I just can't get sleep after that point. Like right now I might be able to fall asleep because that was like 8 hours ago. But I don't know if my body would still let me because it's such a weird thing. Um, Sorry. But yeah, uh, I might actually use he's full of piss and full of piss and vinegar that's fucking no, I didn't even know that meant that oh that's so cool you're chock full of piss and vinegar that's fucking amazing oh so cool oh Oh, maybe that's the title of this. Chock full of piss and vinegar. That's... Oh, my God. Oh. I can use that so much now. I never used that quote because I never knew what the fuck it meant. But, um, yeah, uh, great. Um, we are moving, we're picking up speed. We're, <laughs> we are full of piss and vinegar now. We're mo we're moving, we're moving into where it really starts getting into. We've passed the intro to the anime, and now stuff is going to start ramping up. And I can't wait. I can't, there's, there's stuff I'm missing. There's fights I'm missing. I don't know where you actually place those fights so I'm very, 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 very curious what we get and what happens next. I'm guessing we run into Ling when they go back for repairs because I'm guessing he needs repairs after this. That'd be my guess. That's when they run into Ling. At least that's my guess. I don't know if that's correct or not. Um... Other than that, ugh, ugh. I don't know. It's it's so such a weird thing that Hmm. I'm loving this. I'm loving picking up stuff again and oh, pissing bigger. Oh my god. Uh but um I love picking this up. I like I said, I'm only picking these up whenever I'm feeling absolutely drained or absolutely f feel like shit. Um because it helps me it helps pick up my uh it helps me pick pick me back up it's like a pick me up but here's the thing that last one was not pick me up but that's because i forgot what episode that happened on maze hughes otherwise otherwise If you guys like the video, give it a Nah, actually, do I want to talk more? That's the thing. I've been trying to figure out if I want to talk more about this. Huh. No, I think with everything I have to do, and there's a lot I have to do, and with how much that episode has perked me back up, that last episode was fucking phenomenal. I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here... I can't wait till we pick up three more, three or four more. That might be in months. I don't know. That's usually how this has been. But now at least I can watch up to episode 13 again. I can watch up to this point. So before we pick up three or four episodes, I will re-pick those back up. And you might see me already a little happy with the piss and vinegar uh, statement. Um, otherwise, I think... 
I think I know what's coming next. I think. I don't know if it's correct or not. Otherwise, really, hope you guys did like the if you guys like video, give like. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with all the content. Otherwise, this has been Mr. Z and sign off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night. Wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next video and peace.